Right now, we have the ability to access ChatGPT search within the Chrome Web Store. I'll make sure I leave the link to this in the description down below. Let's go and check it out here and see how we install it, use it, and proceed. Welcome back, y'all. This is probably going to be a fast video, as I doubt there's going to be a lot of differences between the ChatGPT search extension and just ChatGPT. Let's just check it out. Let's add to Chrome. Add to Chrome. Add extension. To make sure you can see this extension, we're going to come up here to our top right, hit this little puzzle piece, extension, pin it, and let's check it out. So the idea here and the use case here is that supposedly this is supposed to be like your new search engine. It's supposed to be Google. So let's go ahead and see what happens when I search this. Where in the USA is the best seafood? Hit enter. All right. Uh, okay. So it redirects us to ChatGPT here and basically starts like a new chat with the search feature enabled here. And we got some options here, such as Boston, Seattle, same situation here as well with the articles. You view the sources like this and kind of scroll through here to see where this information has gotten. So if you want to see a whole video dedicated on this topic of all the capabilities of how to leverage search in this context, like actually in ChatGPT, check out that video right there. It's like five minutes long. I'll show you everything we can do. Purpose of this video though, is like to see the use case of this extension. And one thing that's worrying me right now is I hope this doesn't make it so that every single time I search anything, we automatically open a ChatGPT chat because that could be excessive. Like for example, let's say I don't want to use ChatGPT search and I just want to look up Google, e.g. let's search something on Google. When I hit enter in this context, oh, okay. So yes, it seems like with this Chrome extension here, it kind of narrows you in, in the sense of anything you search on the internet now will be all pushed towards ChatGPT. This is almost like a redirect. So specifically, it seems like this Chrome's extension's purpose is just to redirect you to a ChatGPT chat. Okay. And I guess in this use case, it's very much your preferences. Like Paul here seems to really like this comparative to perplexity in Google, but I kind of agree with Yuma here where it seems too aggressive in the sense of like anything I search, it will redirect to ChatGPT. Therefore, for this extension, I feel like there's gotta be a middle ground here where sometimes you just wanna go on the search engine. Sometimes you just wanna Google something. You don't always want a ChatGPT answer. Whatever it may be, check it out. I believe this would work with a free plan of ChatGPT as well. So you can basically add the extension, have a ChatGPT account, and it'll redirect you. Go ahead and check out that video over there if you wanna see how to use ChatGPT search, everything we can do with it. Pretty cool stuff, pretty new stuff. That's my face. That's the video. I'll see you in the next video.